We're back at the Oriental Theater in the heart of the Windy City for another hour of What Men Really Think, the event. This is gonna be good, folks. My next guests aren't just any men. They're my first ever all-man panel. We're breaking down the latest trending topics that are resonating with women, but we're gonna do it, we're going to do it from a male perspective, the guy's point of view. So let's meet the panel. From Chrisley Knows Best, my buddy, Todd Chrisley. <laughs> TV personality and famous restaurant owner, Bill Rancic. <laughs> WWE star, my buddy, David Otunga. <laughs> and one of the most iconic daytime TV legends in the business today, Fox senior correspondent, my buddy, Geraldo Rivera. <laughs> so we're gonna dive right in. This is gonna be a good one. Ben Affleck is the latest celebrity to announce that he's splitting with his wife, Jennifer Garner, reportedly because he's hooking up with the nanny. Now, it wasn't long ago that we saw the same headlines with celebrities, including Arnold Schwarzenegger, and Jude Law. So now, why does it seem that men are more prone to cheat with the nanny? <laughs> Bill? <laughs> you just go to you, buddy. I don't like this. Uh, you know, Steve, I, I gotta tell you, this is a no-brainer. You don't hire a hot nanny. It's that simple. <laughs> uh, let, let me back it up. Hang on, hang on. Now, I like to eat cupcakes at home, right? And I'm trying to get in shape like David here, so I don't want cupcakes around my house all the time. If my wife's putting cupcakes everywhere, there's a darn good chance that in the middle of the night, I'm gonna take a bite of that You're cupcake. You're gonna get a cupcake. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. And Ben ate the cupcake. I mean, if you're gonna bring a hot, good-looking woman in your house and she's bathing the baby, she's fixing the food, hell, the husband's looking at that, getting confused and saying, well, here's another job. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Jennifer Garner's a smart woman. Look at that nanny. She couldn't have interviewed her. <laughs> and Jen's sitting there like, yeah, that's great, and you can do this and do this, and Ben's thinking, and this. <laughs> yeah, I well, think... I'm gonna say this, though. This is how we did it in my household. We had a nanny, but Jennifer ain't no dummy. She <laughs> went and hired her cousin to be our nanny. <laughs> and then See, the backup cost you your life. is my niece. <laughs> So the backup is your niece. It's my niece, yeah. so it's all in the family. Well, yeah. Geraldo? You know, I just celebrated my 12th anniversary, so it's been a while, but I can remember. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can re it is a question of convenience. You, men sleep with who is nearby, when they can, under whatever circumstances they can. Having said that, there, there is definitely a new class of predatory nannies in show business yeah, that right. go into a relationship with the premeditation to, to snatch what that woman has. Yeah, but the guy's still cheating. That, so, <clears throat> right. you know, a cheater's a cheater, man. Right, yeah. right. All of these guys are real. You can't have cupcakes in the house, man, if you like cupcakes. That don't make no sense, man. It's crazy. You gotta get a Mary Poppins looking chick <laughs> with the big the umbrella. The Arnold boots. had that. Yeah. And nah. Mary Poppins wasn't safe. <laughs> Good point. Phil. Good point. Yeah. Okay, here's another one. Former stripper turned model Amber Rose says more and more exotic dancers are walking down the aisle for good reason. They have all the makings of a good wife. They're confident and personable. Do you agree, Todd? Hmm. <laughs> I mean, let's face it. If you're going to a strip club, a guy's stopping by the ATM before he gets there. The girl's showing up because she's hoping the dude stopped by the ATM. It's a transactional relationship. You ain't a wife, you a hoe. Oh. <laughs> oh. David? <laughs> Hell no. I mean, look, I'm a lawyer, so I have to go to like formal functions and events. Now, I couldn't take her there with me, showing up in a bodysuit and some fishnets. I mean, what would that look like? Or if she had to go pick up my kid from kindergarten? 
No. Yeah. That'd be the least of your worries. You gotta worry about how many in the rooms done been where you are. Yeah. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Bill. Exactly. You know, uh, I grew up, my parents were school teachers. I couldn't imagine rolling home for Thanksgiving dinner, you know. Hey, Mom, uh, I'd like you to meet, you know, my date tonight. That wouldn't, that wouldn't go over well, so absolutely not. Geraldo. <laughs> Chris Rock once said, and I really follow his advice, he said the, the biggest job a father has is to keep his daughter off, off the, the stripper pole. pole. Yeah. You know, so I, I really, I really believe in that. And I'm the kind of person, I'm jealous of my wife's high school prom date. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Look, man, I, it's just a matter of the average guy is not taking you down off that pole and taking you home. No. I can't take you home and meet, my mama will spot that right away. Uh-huh. I don't know what it is. My mama never met a stripper, but she'd know. <laughs> what she do for a living? Why? <laughs> Why she jiggle when she walk like that? What's going on? 